That's good luck, I just took a dragonfly right to the fucking nose. That's what I get for trying to ride with an open visor right now. Alright, apparently I'm riding directly into the rain. So what's going on everybody, it's your boy Just Joe here, about to head back to the beach. You know the road, you know the route. Give you all a little monthly update on what the hell has been going on in my life and uh, just get out and get a good vent session going. Like I said, y'all know the route, y'all know what's going to happen. So, just been doing a whole lot of the same old, same old, bunch of nothing, trying to find a job, trying to get paid again. I finally scored an interview with a dealership down in Brooksville. They said they were doing multiple rounds, so I'm just waiting to hear about the second round, hopefully. It's only been about a week, but I've been messaging them constantly in order to like, just look, this dude wants to work, you know? Open that. What's going on? Joe, coming at you from the editing room. I just heard back from that dealership I was talking about in the video, and they didn't hire me, so it's going to be what it's going to be, y'all. Thanks for watching again, and take it easy. Works out. If not, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing, because I've been applying. I've been applying to be a line cook again. I've been applying to be a dishwasher. I don't want to go back into kitchens, but I'm doing everything I can just to get a fucking paycheck. And even though I've been to culinary school and I have over 10 years of experience in kitchens, I'm getting denied as a dishwasher. So I really don't know what the hell's going on right now. I don't really know if I'm the problem. I imagine I'm the problem because I have neck tattoos and people don't like that. But it's 2024, get the fuck over it. People have tattoos that aren't criminals. I can pass a level two background check. I've never been arrested a day in my fucking life. The worst things I have on my driving record are fucking speeding tickets. And I haven't gotten one of them in over seven years. Like everything, I should be perfectly clean, perfectly qualified. There's no reason I sh it should have taken this long to find a job. And I'm really starting to debate whether it's time to move the hell out of Florida and go somewhere else. I got a lot. I got a lot here that I'm trying to support and trying to like, you know, do the right thing. Me and my fiance have been together for 10 years, but it's to the point where she uh, we're having issues. I don't want to put too much out there, but we are having our issues. And it's almost to the point where if she doesn't want to work on it, I'm not going to work on it. I'm just going to pack my shit and move on to the next fucking state. Because you can only put... I, I put in 10 years, man. Put in 10 years. Did everything. Paid, I, pay, I still pay bills. I've been out of work for three months and I'm still paying the majority of the bills. Some, so go figure that one out. Uh, this little rainy day ride is for all you people that think I'm a fair weather rider. I don't own a car anymore. That shit's about to get fucking repoed any second. I finally got the notice that I'm three months behind and they're going to come take it. 
I've been meaning to call them and tell them to come take it, but I don't like talking to people on the phone. Just come get this fucking car. You know I'm not paying for it. So, I really do only have this bike, rain or shine. That's what I'm riding to get where I need to be. And you think a motorcycle dealership would appreciate somebody like that, but apparently, you know, we gotta, we gotta do some checks, we gotta think about it, all that bullshit. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I really don't do much. Y'all know I ride this road every so often just to go to the beach and clear my head and talk to you guys while I do so. And I really appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos because every single view means a lot to me. I have no physical friends to go hang out with. Nobody invites me to go do anything. It's always just me, myself, and I fucking figuring out what to do. And uh, it just sucks. Everything just fucking sucks right now. I ain't even gonna try to lie. My dad sent me some money to go get some clothes, so I bought a bunch, a uh, couple pairs of new pants for work when I get a job. Got a couple of those like button-up short sleeve dress shirts, and I got a couple bowling shirts. This way I can stop hanging out in public in like 15-year-old beat-up t-shirts all the time. Try to look a little more presentable even when I'm not at work. And uh, I, I just, I just feel like everything I'm doing is really for nothing at this point. Which is a really hard thing to try to battle with because I already don't like myself as it is. It's hard enough dealing with everything else going on. And then you got nobody. I just got nobody, man. So with all that being said, how's everybody else doing? If you made it this far, leave a comment down below. Tell me how your day's been. Tell me how your week's been. Tell me how your month's been. Let's just let's just start some engagement here. You know, you talk to me, I'll talk to you. We'll all have a good time. And if you ride a classic or a modern classic, like I do, you got a little triumph or something. Let's meet up. Maybe we can have a good time together. If you're anything like me, you like to go a little bit fast, but not as fast as the sport bikes. And you actually follow the rules of the road and use hand signals. I don't know. I really don't even know what I'm doing at this point anymore. I really should stop trying to make videos and upload, but at least having the excuse of getting out and getting on the bike gives me an excuse to get out the house and do something and talking to you guys here through the camera really makes me feel like I'm actually talking for once. I just really, I really don't know what else to do. I got, I've put out, I've done everything. I've done everything I can to make things better and things just aren't getting better. I, re I really don't know what else to do at this point. Oh, what a beautiful day. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm, I love this bike and I love this style, the modern classic. I love old British twins. And uh, I just, I haven't found anybody around here. I've seen maybe two people. One of them was on another Royal Enfield and they stopped me to talk about the bike. I didn't get that on camera, unfortunately. And the other person I've seen is on a Triumph and they haven't even acknowledged me. So, I don't want to change the style of bike that I like just so I can have friends that I don't fucking like hanging out with. I've done that enough in the car scene and switched up from being a Subaru guy to Hondas to fucking everything under the sun just trying to, you know, oh, is this cool enough for you? And I'm tired of that lifestyle. I know what I like and if other people don't like me for it, that's too fucking bad. I've been alone all this time. I can fucking be alone some more, I guess. This 
isn't even really raining, come on. <laughs> it's gonna get heavier as I go to the beach. I know that's exactly where the cloud is sitting. I probably won't stay long. I'll probably just hit a, do a quick drive by, hit the loop and head home. Yeah, life's just been real fucking shitty lately and I don't know what to do about it. I'm obviously not going to be able to monetize my YouTube channel just based off the way that I talk most of the time on here. That thing had something in its talons. I'm obviously not going to be able to monetize the channel. There, there's no way I'm ever going to make family friendly content that YouTube's actually going to care about. Uh, I don't have enough subscribers to be one of these fucking like old school dudes that are like oh my patreon go to my patreon no youtube sucks stop making you find a real job i don't know i know doing these videos is a lot like a real job there's a lot of work and effort that goes into a lot of them I'm just so tired of everything being fucking sponsored and people trying to sell me shit. Tide's really low right now. I could, if I had my bucket, I could probably go catch some crabs. But I'm just going to do a drive-by, head back home. that I've worked to build for 10 years and for some reason the universe seems to think I don't deserve it and I'm starting to believe them. Like I said, I really don't know what the next move is if things keep not working out here for me in Florida. I really don't want to start over again at 30 years old, 31 years old. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I certainly don't feel like I'm a partner in my own relationship. I definitely feel more like I'm just there to serve her. And I hate that feeling because it wasn't like that at all in the beginning. But now all of a sudden I'm just supposed to be a servant. I'm supposed to like, I'm not working. So I'm supposed to cook. I'm supposed to clean. I'm supposed to do everything. And that wouldn't be a problem if even when I was working, it wasn't my responsibility to cook, clean, and do everything in the house. I fucking... I did the dishes, I did a load of laundry, I did all the cat's litter boxes, and I cleaned up the kitchen as best as I could. She comes home, and it's still not enough. So, I don't really fucking know what the point is anymore. And I'm really thinking it might be time for her to see what life really is like without me, because she wants to act like she don't fucking need me. Even though, like I said, I have been paying the majority of the fucking bills, even though I've been unemployed all this time. And I'm really sick of this constant negativity being thrown in my life when all I really need is just somebody to fucking lift me up and give me a goddamn hand sometimes. Especially when that person is supposed to be the love of your life and supposed to be the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I really don't know how much longer I'm going to make it, guys. But, anyway, that's all I really have to say. If you made it this far into the video, do me a favor and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. And let me know down below how everything's been going for you in your life. Maybe together we can figure something out. You know, as a community and make sure shit like this stops happening. Cause there's no reason somebody like me that rides every single fucking day of their life 
no matter the weather condition, is not qualified to work selling motorcycles to people. I understand not working at the Harley dealership because I don't ride Harleys and I don't really like them. I don't really like American made. I don't get, I don't like V-Twins. Uh, I get the appeal. I understand like long road trips and stuff like that. They're super comfortable, but I don't think motorcycling should be about comfort. If you want to be comfortable, buy a car. This is about being out in the elements, on the road, everything just connected to what you do. And like I said, with all that being said, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one, hopefully. Peace out.